Local boxing is still coming to terms with tomorrow's cancelled event. Murutim Talane was due to defend his IBF World Flyweight title against Filipino Jason Mama. But that bout, which was due to take place in Durban, was cancelled after event promoter Tono Promotions failed to meet the event requirements. For more on the story, Boxing Essay's acting CEO Cindy Ngomo joins us via Skype. A very good afternoon, Cindy. Wow, I can't believe we are at this stage at the moment. We've only had two boxing events on the BSA calendar in 2020. At what stage did Boxing SA feel that the events could not go on? Um, good afternoon and thank you for the opportunity um, to speak on, on this uh, matter. Um, you know, with the um, boxing uh, tournaments, there's uh, timelines that need to be met, which are obviously on the boxing regulations and that's what guides our operations. Um, the promoter had until Friday, the 11th of uh, December, as the final cut-off to meet all the requirements in terms of uh, delivery of a tournament. And unfortunately, um, as of close of business uh, that Friday, those requirements had not been met. And uh, therefore, procedurally, uh, Boxing South Africa uh, issued out a cancellation letter to the promoter who has the obligation and the responsibility to then talk to uh, stakeholders, uh, including their contracted boxers and their teams, and any other stakeholder that is involved in the tournament. We leave this to the promoter um, to do so because uh, we, we really uh, need not uh, get into uh, publici publicizing cancellation. However, uh, it became apparent um, in the new week uh, by uh, Wednesday that the promoter had not actually communicated this, and that is because uh, we had uh, um, gotten news that Jason Mama had landed in Durban, and that's when we then stepped in and uh, eventually communicated from our side as, as the bo uh, boxing regulator uh, that the tournament was indeed cancelled as of on Friday, the 11th of December. I'd love to find out from you, uh, Cindy, especially after Murutim Talani had these comments to say. He said, this is gross misconduct and we have to deal with it in a certain way if we are serious about bringing back prestige to the sport of boxing. So what exactly were the requirements Turner Promotions failed to meet? Uh, unfortunately, uh, the promoter couldn't pay all the monies that uh, are due for the tournament. These are the what we call purse money. Uh, which is then paid uh, to each and every boxer after the tournament. Um, according to the Act and the regulations, these need to be paid at least 30 days before the tournament or any other specified date um, communicated by Boxing South Africa. And in this case, as I've mentioned before, this was on the 11th of, of December. And therefore, unfortunately, we can never have a situation where a tournament uh, takes place without those uh, purses paid, especially when you also have a, a, a foreign boxer who obviously um, needs to be paid immediately um, after the tournament. And that is why it, were, it, it is always um, a, um, a procedure for us to cancel the tournament if those money had not been deposited to Boxing South Africa. Some members of Boxing SA have uh, believed that you made a wrong decision in allowing Turner Promotions to handle this event. Could BSA have done more to prevent this debacle? I can understand and, and, and totally uh, respect to those uh, comments. However, you know, um, previously, we used to communicate cancellation. As soon as a, a cancellation is made, we used to put this up on our social media pages and also on our website. Uh, we had engagement with some promoters who felt that this is embarrassing to them, um, as, as a, obviously as a business, and that they would like to take over the communication. Uh, we gave them an opportunity to do so because we obviously don't want to operate as if, you know, all the rules um, are, are, are not guided by uh, a con uh, consultation. Unfortunately, at this time, it has proven that that is not uh, the position that we should be taking. And I think we will revert back to actually um, communicating this uh, uh, cancellation because you don't want a situation that has happened where a boxer tries travels from another country or from another province really in, in South Africa to get you to, to a tournament venue and only to realize that uh, that tournament does not take uh, place. Because we are sensitive that in certain cases, um, all our uh, boxes and their managers actually use their own resources to travel. So um, we will be reviewing that and, um, and, and we will be uh, reverting straight back to the cancellation and communicating. And obviously we will still give the promoter an opportunity to do so. And uh, there will be requirements uh, of proof that those communications have happened. All right, Cindy, in closing, uh, how will this scenario be prevented in the near future? 
Um, I think we do have uh, uh, mitigating, um, uh, you know, uh, ways of operating. I don't think there's anything necessarily uh, out of place in how we have been handling this. But I think uh, right now we need to review the timelines uh, to make it as early as possible because currently we always make sure that uh, no tournaments takes place. Uh, uh, sorry, the tournament doesn't get into a tournament week uh, without those purse monies um, uh, being paid. We have had uh, some of the comments and a request from our licenses to say even the seven days before the tournament is a little bit too late. So we will sit down and have a look at this. I don't think uh, there is really much to uh, change, but we just need to implement it in a, in a way that we will not find ourselves in this situation and ensure that we protect our, our boxers who in this case have trained really, really hard and we're expecting, um, you know, this tournament to take place. And I can just imagine the disappointment. And um, so so we'll, we'll definitely look into it and make sure that going forward, we never find ourselves in such a situation. All right. So Boxing Essays Acting CEO Cindy Nkomo, thanks for your time. They're just explaining to us why, of course, the much-anticipated bout was called off. All right. More from